Hello and welcome, it's Leanne Jago here for Soul Journey 2018, brought to you by Art and Soul Studio. The project today is going to be called Never Change and it's from the quote, if you are lucky enough to be different, never change. So let's get started with this Soul Starter. So just using a 300 gram piece of watercolour paper, just got out some Tim Holtz Distress Oxide, just watered it down and I laid it there and then I added some Deco Art Medium Quidecodone Burnt Orange just with the brayer and then I added some Dina Wakely Elephant Paint. Again I just rolled the brayer over it. I love the effect that it gets. It creates a little bit of texture. So just drying that off and now I'm going to add some more texture just with a glue pen and then using some antiquing embossing powder over the top just to, as I said, just to give it some texture, something a little bit different. And at, at the side there, I'm gathering up just some supplies there. So I've just got some paper doilies, some music sheets, and some masking tape. And I'm just layering them up, gluing them down randomly. I'm um, just using some golden matte medium. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really liking that matte medium. Um, I did ask um, what people thought about different mediums. So it seems to be working well so thank you very much those that recommended the golden so here we have the background there what I did was after I've dried it off I've actually put down a little bit of my favorite go-to product at the moment which is the deco art crackle paste let it dry off and crackled it didn't crackle greatly because the day that I did this was 40 degrees and 90 something percent humidity so it was a horrible horrible day and I was in my little studio with no aircon so things didn't work like they usually would on a, on a perfect day so I, I covered it then in the deco art media in the antiquing cream the patina green which you layer it on and then you rub it off so then I just added again just some more texture um, some more color just with the brayer I used some black and that more of the Kodokonome orange. And then I just got some Seven Dot Studio die cut elements, stickers, or not stickers, sorry, elements uh, from the Dreamscapes collection just to add a little bit of a focal point up the top. I kind of knew where I was going with this project, which is a bit unusual for me, but because I had used, I'd done something similar in my art journal, so I thought I wanted to replicate it in a, into a little piece. So just there I've just got some walnut ink, just spraying it on just to give it a, again, just building up some texture, building up some layers. So it actually forms really nicely in some of those cracks that the Cracker Post did manage to make, I suppose you could say. And then with my favorite getting out my gesso so I use a Atelier it's a gesso primer it's called so it's actually really really thick and I really really like that about it so it just holds its form a bit better it does create a bit more texture with it as well I didn't think that the patina was working as well it wasn't as dark as I'd hoped so that's why I added another layer but if I dried it off a bit more maybe some more of it would stay on just with that heat it was just yeah even my background messy mat was, was really really hot which is unusual and then my stabilo going around the outside and if you've watched my videos you know that I love to do this, this this step adding some water just to give it a bit of a frame bit of a border and a bit of cohesion to the whole piece so I feel I feel like it joins everything together nicely you'd think that with the temperature it was that day I wouldn't have to use the heat gun but I did and again some more of that patina and then I thought I'd make some marks so I've just got out some blushing Dina Wakely paint and I, I used the end of the brush and it wasn't working so then I actually put some thicker on that thicker marks there then with the Stibolo inner marks all again I used a graphite and I just put some X's down the bottom there some more of the cracker paste, a couple more rolls of the black. You can see if it, it just creates a little area. So, my person today is one of the Donna Downey stencils, the Duet Silos. Um, so, I'm just using them both the negative and the positive of this form. So, at the moment, I've just got a distress oxide out again, filling in the blank, adding some flecks of water to activate the oxides. 
and then when I pulled it off I thought you can hardly see it you know, I'm going to have to redo this so I did I redid it and I actually added in a little bit of the Tim Holtz distressing in the wild honey so that sort of gives it a bit more body and a bit more depth as well as the oxide ink in the green And then I'll use the other part just to give the edge. So I've just got a sponge just with a bit of black paint going around the outside to create a shadow. So that actually pops off the page really well, like a lot better than what you expect it would do, um, especially if you saw that start there. So again, I just got out that Kodakodome orange and with my brayer again and just rolled it onto the messy mat, then swiped it up just to see where it went. Um, wherever it went was where it was meant to be so that's what I did some more yet again of that patina green got out a stencil there, this is a pretty cool new one in the shop it's a Brutus Munro one so it's pretty cool, rubbed a bit of it off through there getting through with some more of the white gesso now the lady's really starting to stand out a fair bit it's pretty grungy this page so it's a bit different to the other soul starters that you've seen um, but I really like it so I've just got out now just a sharpie pen it's a sharpie paint pen in a white um, it wasn't quite working for me I'm not sure why what I've done I seem to break white pens they just don't seem to work that well for me so I just sort of scribbled around that figure on the inside and again I did the same thing with the sharpie oh, sorry not with the sharpie with the stabilo went through it again then the black wasn't standing out enough for me so I went around it again but this time I used a stays on ink pad so it actually turned out quite well and I'm really really happy with it final piece here just to add my quote and go around it with my stabilo marks all in the black And then I just added some stabilo through it um, in the white as well. That was a white pencil. And then last but not least, I just added a little bit more crackle paste. So there you go. Quick little one for us today. So here's some close-ups for you. I would love to see your take on this pretty, pretty special quote. I would love to see it. There we go, and the final product. So don't forget, ladies, to check out, and gentlemen, sorry, check out the Art and Soul Studio uh, website. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, and enjoy your soul journey.